Yo, what's good? Hope you are having a great day. I hope that you didn't recently find out somebody in your family is lactose intolerant because, dude, I I love lactose. Now, while I can tolerate lactose, and uh, I do love me some pizza, what I won't tolerate is people bullying Jaden Animations. Now, some of you guys probably don't know who I'm talking about. Jaden Animations, in case you couldn't infer from her username, is an animation YouTuber. She's incredibly popular, has over 10 million subscribers, and uh, gets over like 5 million views each video. It's crazy. She's doing a great job. Now, with that being said, Jaden Animations has had a very rough go about it when it comes to YouTube, and just the way that she's looked at. For some reason, out of all the YouTubers, and this has been an issue with females in general on the internet, but Jaden Animations has been heavily objectified, which is just bizarre. I mean, Jaden Animations is a family-friendly, kid-friendly animation YouTuber. She's not suggestive at all, and touches on, you know, very appropriate topics. So the fact that people are trying to manifest Jaden Animations into this, like, 18-plus type of figure is just really inappropriate and bizarre. Now, like I said, this has been an issue for women in general on the internet internet where they are looked at as no more than their bodies. Now this is obviously abhorrent, and I shouldn't have to explain why this is bad in general, but it's especially bizarre and like I said, horrible with Jaden Animations because not only does she make kid-friendly content, but she also rarely shows her face, so the fact that she is being s 3 actualized is honestly pathetic. Now how I know this is a big issue is because there is a subreddit where people are drawing inappropriate pictures of Jaden Animation, and this subreddit has more members than Jaden Animation official subreddit. Now that is absolutely horrifying. Like, I, I can't even explain how crazy that is. And this has been an ongoing issue for, like, more than a year, so the fact that this is still going on is... It's just sad. Now, this whole issue of Jaden Animations being hyper-objectified has been an ongoing issue, but I've also noticed that apart from that, she's also been receiving massive amounts of hate recently. Now, unwarranted toxicity will always be an issue on the internet where people will just leave hate comments, will just, you know, spam dislike. It's always going to exist. Now, sometimes that's a good thing. You know, if it's deserved, then it's deserved. If somebody does something bad or does something wrong and they need to be punished, yeah, spam them with dislikes. Now, obviously, I think that it has to be very much deserved to be justified. You know, I mean, there's plenty of times where I've talked about people being cancelled where they don't deserve it, you know? Ironically enough, I think I have 10 plus videos titled, you know, Blank Doesn't Deserve This, where I talk about people or creators who have done something, like, so minor that it causes backlash. Now, putting that aside for a second, Jaden Animations, I don't think, you know, even considering how sensitive kids are these days and how sensitive the internet is these days, hasn't even been cancelled once, okay? Uncancelable, or, or at least hasn't been cancelled yet, so, you know, every time I see her get, like, a hate video directed toward her, it's just, you know, it feels really weird to watch. Any which way, my friend sent me this video today titled, Jaden Animations is Racist and Offensive. Now, when I think of Jaden Animations, those are probably the two adjectives that I would never even consider thinking of because they're just <laughs> demonstrably false. Funny enough, I did some research that would say something quite on the contrary, where she's tweeted out several things in support of Black Lives Matter. She even posted a screenshot of a note that she typed up, and she posted posted it on Twitter, and the note says, Why is not being racist a debate? Why are people having to fight for the bare minimum of basic human rights, Black Lives Matter, and of discussion? If you aren't able to donate money to any of the resources being spread, know that sharing and standing up for the movement is very powerful in and of itself. Please stay safe out there, everyone. So, yeah, she's obviously very caring. I didn't feel like I had to prove that she's not racist, because I don't really think most people who get called racist on the internet are racist. I think usually people are just coming up with things, but I just thought with this evidence that I clearly had in front of me, I may as well have shared it. But without further ado, I think we're gonna watch this video just to hear what this person has to say, so uh, let's strap in and take a look at this video. Hi, it's Woozy Boy, your favorite YouTube reviewer, and today I'm going to be critiquing one particular YouTuber who has... <sighs> really, um, I'm sorry guys, I'm just literally shaking right now. This YouTuber is just so offensive. I can't believe she's so popular with people and is constantly promoted by YouTube. Of course, you may have already guessed, I'm talking about Jaden Animations. 
Well, I'll tell you for sure, I certainly did not guess Jaden Animations. I mean, you start out the video by saying, Hi, it's Woozy Boy, your favorite YouTube reviewer. You're not my favorite YouTube reviewer, by the way. My favorite YouTube reviewer happens to be Moist Critical. He does a series called The Moist Meter, where he reviews movies. Very excellent series. Now, Mr. Woozy Boy, can I just ask you, where did you get the idea that you are anybody's favorite YouTube reviewer? Like, like, at all? Like, did your mom say, Oh, Woozy, I, I love the way that you complimented my chicken. And then that somehow gave you the impression that you're like the best reviewer of everything on planet Earth. Because frankly, Mr. Woozy Boy, I'm not a big fan of your review so far. I gotta say, it's a little bit cringe. Uh, actually, highly cringe. Because when you introduce a YouTuber by calling them offensive, racist, and sexist, I'm not assuming for you to pull out somebody who is none of those things. Jaden Animation seemed innocent enough. Some cartoon YouTuber. But then I did something I'll regret for the rest of my life. I watched some of her videos. Now, in this video titled Anxiety is the Greatest, JK can go jump off a microwave. The first thing I noticed was that she makes fun of anxiety. Wow, you find anxiety jokes offensive? That's embarrassing. I mean, you've pretty much just told the entire internet that you cannot handle a joke, and that you essentially need a public diaper change because you're crying and whining about a... a <laughs> A YouTube title, oh my god, that's just honestly sad. Honestly sad. Who has the time in their adult life, or uh, honestly just anyone's life in general, to get offended by a YouTube title? Like, where in your schedule do you have the time for that? I mean, the person making this video, you know, Woozy Boy, sounds like he's in the age range of 17 to 21, so honestly, I'm kind of, uh, a bit confused about how somebody at his age has this amount of time on his hands. And then, well, though, this one part in this video, just watch for yourself, guys. It's quite a uh, sexist. Um, uh, well, statements backed up by facts aren't inherently sexist. Like, so, on average, men are generically built stronger than women. Which isn't sexist, just a gen general fact. Seriously, what in the world was that? Statements backed up by facts aren't inherently sexist? Sorry, but there are many facts that I find quite offensive and sexist. Like the gender pay gap. Okay, what? Let me get this straight, because certain things are just true about life. Like, the genetic fact that, on average, men are genetically stronger than women is actually sexist? Huh? I mean, just because it's true that, on average, men are stronger than women doesn't mean that men are better than women. On average, men are more likely to get addicted to drugs. Does that mean women are better than men? No, these are just studies. These are facts. Like, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. And I'm sorry, but if you're so offended by this statistic, why don't you take that up with the doctors or the clinical researchers who discovered this in the first place, rather than Jaden Animations? <sighs> and worst of all, this is coming from a female. But she's from Arizona and is probably a Trump supporter. So, would you expect any different? Then there's the, On average, men are genetically built stronger than women, which isn't sexist, just a general fact. I mean, come on, you can't make this stuff up. Many women are strong and capable and can beat men up. Yeah, man, I agree with you. Nobody said they couldn't, and I'm sure that, you know, you specifically are speaking from experience. I'm sure you've gotten your ass whipped by plenty of females. The irony about this video is this person is complaining about how, you know, generally men are stronger than women, while at the same time makes a generalization about Arizonians being Trump supporters. I didn't know if that was intentional or if this person just really hates Trump supporters, but, uh, I, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Comment down at Taco if you made it to the end of the video, and I'll try to heart your comment. Be sure to follow my social medias and join the Discord server. Links are all in the description below. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. But wait, real quick, I forgot to say big thanks to the channel members. As always, you guys rock. But yeah, I'll see you guys later.